we can divide the key components of a sound wave into three sections. The first is the wavelength. This means the distance between the start and end of one whole wave. In other words, a complete cycle from zero to zero on our XY graph. Please note I said a complete cycle. The waveform does cross zero halfway through its journey. Now some waves have very short cycle lengths and these short waves have higher pitched frequency characteristics. Other waves have much longer cycle lengths and the longer it is, the lower in pitch the sound. There is a way of determining how long a waveform actually is by dividing the number of hertz, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute, into the speed of sound. The speed of sound is approximately 1,116.4 feet per second, or 761.2 miles an hour. I say approximately because it's dependent on conditions such as altitude, atmosphere and so on, but you get the idea. And to give you an idea of just how long these wavelengths can be, a 20 Hz wave at the lower threshold of our hearing would be around 55 feet in length. This can explain why you only hear the bass from noisy parties next door. Long, strong wavelengths are far more able to pierce through brick walls than tightly packed short little waves at the treble end of the spectrum, which tend to flatten out and reflect off a solid surface. The next thing to consider is a waveform's amplitude. This is simple. The higher the peak, the higher the amplitude, and therefore the stronger and louder the signal is. And finally, we come to frequency. As the name suggests, it's how many times the waveform completes a cycle in one second. And as we now know, the shorter the wavelength, the more complete waveforms occur in that one second, and the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. We talked earlier also of hertz and kilohertz. Now this is the measurement we use to gauge how many complete cycles our sound wave completes in a second. So that range of hearing that was mentioned earlier, 20 hertz being the lowest, 20 kilohertz being the highest, equates to 20 complete wave cycles a second, or 20 hertz, up to 20,000 complete wave cycles a second, or 20 kilohertz. Now, most sounds that you will record are capable of producing waves that cover a wide range of frequency ranges, and it's how these waves interact with each other that we're going to look at next.